join in a song with sweet accord, and thus surround the throne, that those refuse to sing who never knew our God, but children of the heavenly king may speak their joys abroad. We'll omit the third and recognize the fourth for prayer. If I stand it, then let our songs abound, and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's grounds to prepare our worlds on high. I'm going to ask Mr. Campbell if you will lead us in prayer when we get to that. that. Come, we
us your word, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your eyes where we can see your word, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your ears so we can hear your word, Lord Jesus. We thank you for our hands and feet so we can deliver your word, Lord Jesus. We just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for another day that you've given us, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. Lord, we just want to thank every soul, Heavenly Father. We didn't come to God to come out and give you some praise and give you some glory right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, wherever they are in this season, Lord Jesus, meet them where they are, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just thank you for the ones who are coming. Thank you, sir. Come right now, Heavenly Father, that you give them traveling grace and mercy. Lord, we just thank you again, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity that you've given us one more time. These are all the blessings we say in your hands, name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We are over our 6.30 time. Does anybody got a testimony real quick? Anybody? Anybody got a testimony? Anybody? 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 Amen. Well, I'll tell you what. I am grateful to the Lord Amen. for what the Lord is doing. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done. And certainly to God be the glory um, for all of his many blessings. What a mighty God that we serve. Amen. And we're so grateful to the Lord. I um, showed the deacons before. I certainly missed uh, being here on Sunday. Amen. But grateful that the Lord has um, allowed us uh, to be able to share his word. Amen. And what a blessing it is uh, to be able to um, encourage others through the word of God. Pre on Sunday, I preached from this text. I want to go back to it. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. I want to talk um, tonight a little bit about connections. Connections. Um, one of the things that I am learning um, is that uh, being connected to the right thing matters. And being connected to the wrong thing um, will certainly not end up good. Connections are important. As I was getting ready, it matters too. As I was getting ready to come in tonight, my three lovely children who I love, and I pray God for them, they are just the most adorable children so well mannered and such um, such great kids. I'm blessed. I'm so blessed, uh, Sister Thomas, to be able to call them my children. Um, and I mean that. I mean that. I'm blessed um, to be able to call them my children. But as, as I walked in, um, they had my iPad, and it was sitting there uh, in the middle. Bella's sitting in the middle, and uh, her brother and sister. You know, it's important. Everything you say, everything you do, I will be holding it against you. And um, I was sitting there, and before they got here, it was just me and him. His cell phone died. His cell phone died, and his charger, for whatever reason, was not working. So I was here. I've been in church today since about 2 o'clock. And so um, if you know anything about children, there's no way he's going to just sit here from 2 to 6 o'clock not doing anything. And so for a while, he just walked around the church. He was walking in the church, walking in the church. Walking. Then I was sitting in the office. He just came and sat and was just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> so I knew that I meant that I needed to do something. I needed to do something. Right? So I said, well, here, take my iPad. Now, Apple has become proprietary, and so my Apple um, charger is not the same as the phone charger. And so I gave him my charger to my iPad, and I said, Tyree, you can use my iPad, look whatever you want, but make sure you keep it plugged up. Because when I need it for Bible study, I need it charged. Y'all got that? His sisters came, and I know whatever I had told him, because um, as much as I love him, he, he is such an humble child. And if they tell him to do something, most usually he won't just do it. I came in and I gave him the iPad, but Bella was holding it. She sat in the middle of them with the iPad, and so um, it was plugged up still. But where they're sitting at, there is no outlet. Come on, y'all, go with me. It stayed plugged up. He did what his father told him to do. I did not say plug it up and leave it in the outlet. I said, make sure it stays plugged up. How many times, how many times have we stayed plugged to things with no charge? How many times have we stayed connected? I praise God for them. They do a great job of helping me 
preach and teach. How many times, how many times have we stayed connected to things that are not providing us what we need? Watch this. Some things, some things will disconnect themselves. Amen. And some things we need to disconnect from. Can I tell you what the Lord showed me this week? This is what the Lord showed me this week. And sometimes when we won't disconnect, Last night, last night, last night, last night, last night, I was in the bed, and there was a power flick. The power went out. And I laid there for a minute, and the first thing I said was, Lord, did I pay my light bill? <laughs> but I recalled, they took that money out of my account. And so I was not worried. Because I said something is simply going on with the power. In just a couple minutes, you know what happened? It came back on. Sometimes in our lives, God will interrupt, disconnect, move us, move them, so that we can, come in Isaiah, in the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw the Lord. How did I see the Lord? How you lift it up. Yes. And every now and then, God will move things out. I'm talking to myself now. God will move things out of our way so that we can realize that our dependency is not on things. Amen. But it better be on God. Amen. How many times, how many times have we say connected to things? Because it's familiar. Yeah. Stay connected to things because it's comfortable. Yeah. Stay connected to it because it makes us feel safe. But you know what? You will, y'all better hear what I'm about to say right now. You will never learn how to really swim in shallow water. Amen. Amen. What you're saying, McCree? Sometimes you got to get from around some things so that you can see some other things that you didn't even know existed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, Thank you, Lord. let's talk about the Bible. Romans chapter 12. Look at it. Verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. Acceptable unto God. Everybody's not going to accept it. Yeah. It's not for everybody to accept. Yeah. It needs to be acceptable unto God. And if it's to God, then it will become your reasonable mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. Look at verse two. And this is a word. This is a verse. This is a verse. This is a verse. This is a verse that the church struggles with. Mm -hmm. Can anybody say it? we struggle with this? Yeah. We struggle with this. We struggle with this because it's not what we want to do. Mm -hmm. We struggle with this because we don't want to hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. We struggle with this because we don't want to upset our hearts. Mm -hmm. We struggle with this because we want to be politically correct. Yeah. We struggle with this because we don't want to offend anybody. Mm -hmm. Be not conformed yeah, yeah. to this world. Right. But be transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind. And when you become transformed, and when your mind is renewed, then you will be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. You know why we can't prove it right now? Because our minds are transformed. Mm -hmm. You know why we struggle with some of the things we're doing? Our minds are transformed. We continue to try to use our natural minds to understand spiritual things. Mm -hmm. We try to understand why people are doing the things they're doing, and it's not natural, it's spiritual. Yeah. And we confuse these things, and we allow ourselves to continue to struggle, and we allow ourselves to be upset, and we allow ourselves to be disturbed, because I don't know why they would do me like that. I don't know why he would do that to me, and we don't understand that it's not he, it's not she, it's a spiritual thing, and you can't understand it with your natural mind, because your natural mind is not conditioned to understand it from a spiritual standpoint. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Mm. So 
some people just can't help it. Some people ain't, some people ain't where you at. Truth of the matter is, you ain't where you think you at. Amen. Yo, we ain't as spiritual as we think. Can I be honest for a second? I need the Lord to help me through the day. So that I don't say the wrong thing. So I don't act the wrong way. So that I don't do the things that I shouldn't do. So I don't go. Because I want to give people what I want to give them. The only way true transformation can happen is connection must be in place. Yeah. Anytime you get disconnected from God, yeah. you will get disconnected from grace. Amen. Amen. Anytime you get disconnected from God, you will connect with things that are opposite of God. Yeah. See, understand this. There is no in-between. No, You're never in-between, y'all. Please hear me. No, You're sir. never in-between. No. no, no Whose side are you leaning on? Either you on the Lord's side Amen. Or you are enemy to God. There is no in between. I'm straddling the fence. No you're not. Because if you're not being obedient to God. Then you are opposite of God. And that's hard. It's hard. But it's right. There is a way. That seems right. But the end thereof. Is death. But straight. Is the way. And narrow. Is the game. We struggle oftentimes because we want to struggle. Because we are comfortable. Because we like what we're doing. I said it over and over again. And again, I, y'all, I, I, I know no other way to do it but to be who I am. I don't know any other way to do it. And I pray maybe one day I become more polished about this part. I enjoyed sin. Yeah. I'm always amazed at Carol. Oh, I didn't want to do it. I just. Why you do it? I didn't want. I just. I just had to be saved. No, y'all, that was my testimony. My testimony is, if I had continued it, I was gonna die. So a decision had to be made. The things that I was doing wrong, my flesh enjoyed it. That's why I kept doing it. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who going to do stuff they don't want to do? <laughs> then you're going to sit in right. <laughs> you miss me, don't you? Because there are some stuff, y'all. There are some stuff. It was a struggle. I knew it was wrong. But it just felt so right. Y'all, 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 they all look new. <laughs> and if I look at them too long, I will remember. Come <laughs> yeah. on, oh, y'all be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But a transformed mind yeah. helps me understand that although that's what this hand wants to do, I have control over this hand. Yeah. Yeah. That only happens when our minds yeah. transform. Yeah. You know why? Yeah. And how our minds stay transformed? By staying connected. This iPad is on oh, 47%. Mm-hmm. It's been on the charger since 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. A lightning charger. Mm-hmm. It only takes about 15 minutes to get 100% charged. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Not only were they on it, Rachel. Not only was it plugged up. At some point, they were using it. Mm-hmm. You do know that a plugged up device that you're still using it's counterproductive. Right. It's not going to reach its full potential if it's still being used yes. inappropriately. Amen. 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 So either it's going to be plugged up charging or unplugged using. 
Because what happens is the temperature in the device can make it too hot. That's it. Amen. That's it. Come on, let's go on. Verse 3. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. Think it out like this right here. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think, talk to me, comrade, soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Each of us have been measured. I made last night. Last night I cooked. I cooked for my children. I made them the best fried rice that they ever had. I made some teriyaki chicken. And as I was making it, John and May, I thought about my mother. She is able to make rice without measuring. And she always would laugh at me because when I'm going to make rice, I measure. <laughs> so suppose you say it too, you too. Now I feel good now. <laughs> you too? Look at me. Tell me you do too. And you do too, don't you? No, I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Watch this right here. This is amazing. Sister Harold, watch this right here. I measured the water. I measured the rice. As I was making it, I, I started to brag about this, but I didn't. As I was making it, I realized that I didn't have enough to have enough for all of us. My first mind, Say, finish this, take it out of the pot, start over again, so that you don't mess up. My second mind, no, Lev, that's, listen, because my, my rice came out good. <laughs> you can laugh all you want. But I realized that I was so early in the process that I could put more water yeah. and put more rice yeah. in the same and it'll still come out right. Watch this. Your measure of faith, beloved, can still use more faith. And just because you only measured a certain amount at this point, you know that if you ask God, he is willing to give you more. And when he gives you more, the old faith and the new faith can come together and you can have one complete and a fried rice done at the same time. What am I saying to somebody tonight? Somebody needs to know that your faith may be here right now, but you can ask God to give you more. And when God gives you more, he is faithful and able to complete the work that he has started in you. <laughs> so that might have been the way it was. We don't have to say that way. Amen. Maybe you didn't believe last month, but that don't have to be your testimony this month. Amen. Maybe the situation seems bad right now, but you don't have to stay in that bad. Because God is able to pour in you more to cover every deficit in your life. God desires surplus out of every one of us. God desires for us to be, watch this, even more and even better. God desires for us to be fruitful. God desires for us to be above and not beneath. He desires for us to be the head and not the tail. He desires for us to be lenders and not borrowers. He desires for us to be above and not beneath. Enough so that we can give to other folk. But he desires for us to stay connected. Can I show you this? I said this last week. I'm going to keep saying this. When I lived in the parsonage, everywhere I go, I seem to have a community pet. In my house, I told y'all, I got a, a bird named Oscar. He comes see me every morning. When I was in the parsonage, I had Woody. <laughs> Woody the woodpecker. And Woody... Well, come over to the church. 
and he'll stop and look around. <laughs> Woody would go to the same place, picking at the same thing. He kept doing that. He was consistent. He stayed, listen, he stayed at it. You know what our problem is? We lack consistency. Mm -hmm. Amen. We lack follow through. Mm -hmm. We lack, we lack self-control. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna get mad with this word right here. We lack patience. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we, we want it done now. Yes. Y'all, that's been my prayer. Mm -hmm. When is you gonna do it? Yeah. Like I know you're gonna do something great. Mm -hmm. But when? Like yesterday was too late. Mm -hmm. When are you going to do it? And God's reminder to me is, I need you to be consistent. All right. Amen. Because sometimes, sometimes we miss the blessing because we're out of place. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that the blessings won't require you to go to them? Mm -hmm. They'll come to you. Yes. But if you're not in the right place, and you are in a place where you shouldn't be, the blessing gonna come, and you'll be out of place. Connected, stay connected, stay connected. Mm -hmm. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying to me. Holy Spirit said to me over and over again, listen, listen. Disconnect from what you need to be disconnected from. Connect to the things you need to be connected to. And when people decide to disconnect, let them. But use that space that was once connected to something that you shouldn't be to be connected to something you need to be. Yeah. 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 See, what we do all the time is we replace bad habits mm -hmm. with worse habits. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We replace bad things mm -hmm. with worse things. Mm -hmm. And then we wonder why there is no fruit from our labor. Oh my God. That's good. And the problem is you cannot expect to reap where you've not planted. Oh you cannot expect to stay charged to what you've not been disconnected or connected to. You cannot expect God to move in places where you've not sowed seeds for him to move. Grass just ain't going to grow. What are we planting? And then when we planted it, how are we feeding it? Amen. Amen. You do understand that the soil, I told y'all last week about Mama Buddha, mm -hmm. the soil, the soil needs to be healthy for the crop to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Healthy crop ain't gonna grow from unhealthy soil. Mm -hmm. Because the soil, when <coughs> cultivated correctly, will give the seed everything it needs to germinate. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. In elementary school? Yes. Give a couple seeds. <laughs> get one of them little white styrofoam cups. Yeah. Teacher give you some dark black soil. Yeah. You put that soil in the cup. Y'all be in that journey. Put that, yeah. that soil in the cup. You take the seed and you put it down in there. Yeah. Then you water it. And you put a little water on it. And it's amazing thing happened between Friday and Monday. Yeah. Seems like it didn't happen Monday through Thursday. But when you go for the weekend. Come back on Monday, you got a little surprise. And you be so happy, that's my cup. You got your name on the side. You know it's yours. Y'all remember that? You be just as happy about that? Why did it sprout? Because what was planted was taken care of. Yes. And we don't want to take care of things, but we want things to sprout. We want the blessings of God, but we don't want the burdens of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want the manifestation of God, but we don't want the prayers necessary with God. We want God to move on our behalf, but we don't want to fast. We want God to do what He said He's going to do, but we want to stay connected to things that we know we don't need to be connected to. And we wonder why our seed and why our growth is stunted. Because, baby, you got weeds in your soul. Yeah. 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 Better find you some Roundup. <laughs> I'm about to be done. There are 
they are, they are in this season. This season. This season is so different than last season. Mm -hmm. And this season will be different than the next season. Yeah. Some seasons, please don't miss this, some seasons will be easy. And when they're easy, you know what you want to do? You want to make God's praise glorious. Yes. When the seasons are easy, you want to be giving God praise. Because yes. you understand that this season is not always going to be. Wow. I walked outside today. I thought I was going to lose my breath. Mm -hmm. It was so hot. Yes. Amen. Amen. My car was in the garage. Mm -hmm. I walked out the door in the garage. Let the garage up. I read some day and said, I'd rather crawl in heaven <laughs> than walk in hell. Amen. It was so hot, I was agree. Then I got to the church, park across the street, just walking, just walking across the street. I said, Lord, I'm about to pass out. And you know what I'm saying? It wasn't as hot last year. No, baby, it wasn't as hot yesterday. <laughs> But you know what? Watch this. We live in Florida. Amen. I ain't gonna ever say it's gonna get cold. But it won't be this hot always. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Every season requires us to prepare. Mm -hmm. And in your good season, mm -hmm. in your light season, you ought to be storing up praise. Mm -hmm. You ought to be storing up prayers. Yes. You ought to be storing up proper connections. Because yes. watch this. You might get like Tyree. Where you use your phone so much, now it's dead. Yeah. And when it's dead, it can't be used. Yeah. Yeah. Now watch this. Watch it right here. We go to the next verse. Every cord won't charge your phone. Hmm. Y'all better get with me tonight. Yeah. For as we have many members, many chargers, in one body, and all members have not the same office. There's an Android charger. Android chargers ain't going to work for no Apple device. Apple chargers ain't going to work for Android devices. They're both necessary for the proper device, but they're not interchangeable. We have varying gifts, callings, presentations that we can give based on what God has gifted us with. But we need to understand that your gift is not going to work in every situation. Amen. But it is important that you use your gift. That you use, come on, come on. Both of you, come on. That you use your gift. Now you know I can't call this man without calling this man. Come on. That you use your gift appropriately. There are some in the body that will be heads. I do that right. <laughs> <laughs> but the head, mm -hmm. say it. Can, can I say the Go ahead. Ain't gonna turn without a neck. Yeah, right. 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 I've never been there. Because if the head ain't got a neck, it's gonna roll off. <laughs> Now, now, watch this. Anatomically, I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go correct, but just go with me. But a head and a neck, still your shoulder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Because if the head and the neck not connected to a shoulder, you ain't got nothing but a bald head. Yes, yes. And the church needs every single part to be effective and do what it needs to do. Too often, everybody want to be the head. Amen. Oh, better yet, we want to be a one eye monster. Yeah. Do you know that you need two eyes? Can I tell you a little old fact? People say, look me in my eyes. You know you can't look at a person in both their eyes at the same time. I didn't know that. <laughs> so when you look at somebody's eyes, you really looking at just one of them. <laughs> but even stick that up. Look that up, teacher. Yeah. Flag lady, look that up. Watch this. Flag day. Yeah. We need every part. Thank you. That's good. We need every part to do its part. We are many members. 
right? We got many, many members in one body, and all members have the same office. So we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. One day we're going to get it. One day we're going to understand that I need you. You need me. And despite what science says, every part of us, including the gallbladder, is a necessary part. Because if we didn't need it, God wouldn't have gave it to us. Amen. The church, church, Needs you. Amen. We can't do what we are called to do as a church if we're lacking getting any part. Yeah. Amen. And when disease, ailment, illness sets in, mm -hmm. if it is not quickly eradicated, mm -hmm. the cancer of it mm -hmm. will spread. Amen. 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 That's what they say. They ain't open them up. When they open up, they just spread. I never understand. Well, why you open them up? <laughs> if if, if y'all know cancer spread, why open them up? We got to go back to being what God has called us to be. Amen. Amen. The world is hungry for the living word. Hmm. Lift him up. Lift the Savior up. Still he speaks from eternity. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up. Lift the Savior up. Still he speaks from eternity. Y'all, if we just lift him up, stop worrying about all the other stuff mm -hmm. and lift him up. Mm -hmm. Stop worrying about all the other concerns. Just lift him up. Mm -hmm. Do your part because if you do what you're supposed to do mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and I do what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, yes, God yes, is going to do yes. what he's going to do. Yes. 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 Then what we'll see is we'll be a connected body. We err when we from our part of the body yeah. try to tell another part of the body uh -huh. how we should operate. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. That's it. The heart ain't got no business telling the lungs mm -hmm. to tell the kidneys what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the heart need to do? Pump. Yeah. Yeah. And if the heart pumps, mm -hmm. yeah. and the lungs do what they're supposed to do, don't worry, the kidneys gonna do what they're supposed to do. And if the kidneys just for whatever reason can't do their part, they can be dialysized. Yeah. Isn't that something? God knows where the issue is. And he knows how to put in place what needs to be put in place for that part. You just stay connected. What would happen? I'm done. What would happen if the heart said, well, the kidneys ain't working, so I'm gonna stop too? That'd be a messed up body, wouldn't it? We're called for a time such as this, for a dying world. We're called, Sister K. Part, even with broken pieces. The blessing of it all is God knows where the brokenness is. He don't need a scope. He don't need a biopsy. He don't need an X-ray. He don't need no kind of diagnostics. God knows. Because he is the manufacturer, not just of your natural body, but of your spiritual and the spiritual body. Mm -hmm. If you hear nothing else I say, know that this period that we're in right now is crucial. Somebody gets sick, they get a critical condition, they go to wherever, hospital, wherever. The doctors say things like, this is a critical period. In the next 24 to 48 hours, are going to be the telltale. They can just make it through the next 24, 48 hours. We'll be out of the woods. Mm -hmm. Only they learn that in medical school. Because all of them say the same stuff. <laughs> it sounds good, don't it? Watch this. 
this season is critical for the church. Amen. I can't talk about none other church except St. Matthew. Mm -hmm. We in ICU. Yes. Amen. We are in the intensive care unit. Mm -hmm. Blessing though, here's the blessing. ICU nurses are skilled. Come on, Rachel. They got they got critical care experience. Yes. They're not just regular nurses. Mm -hmm. Like they're specialized. Right. Yeah. They they have experience, extensive experience in critical conditions. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God. That not only do we have one of the best nurses, but we got the best doctor. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. This 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 doctor is not a hospitalist. Huh. Yes. This doctor is a specialist yes, sir. who specializes yes. in things that seem impossible. Yes. Yes. And he can do yes. what no other power, yes. Yes. Holy Ghost power, yes. Yes. can do. Yes. This doctor, watch this. I'm so glad he ain't got to be called Deacon Harold because mm -hmm. he's at the bedside. Yes. Yes. He ain't got to be paged. Mm -hmm. He's at the bedside. Yes. He's there waiting. On every one of our twists and turns. You ain't got to. This patient ain't got to press no button. Hallelujah. Yeah. But this doctor is there. He knows before the problem what to give. And I'm so glad that the Lord has shown me that this patient. St. Matthew patient. Yeah. Is going to live to see it happen. Yes. Yes. It's going to live and not die. Amen. And it will declare the works of the Lord. And every part of this body, every part of this patient, hallelujah, I declare in the name of Jesus, will live. Yes. Amen. But watch this. The only way to live is if it stays connected. Amen. Amen. Because if you become, let's say, AMA, anyone what it is. No, no, AMA. Against medical advice. Thank you. <laughs> if you leave the hospital uh -huh. before they tell you to leave, mm -hmm. then watch this. You assume whatever risks right. and responsibilities come with leaving without permission. <laughs> Stay connected. Amen. I declare every person who stays connected, not disgruntled, not upset, yeah, 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 come on. not discouraged, mm -hmm. not out of obligation, mm -hmm. not because you ain't got nothing better to do, yeah. mm -hmm. not because you don't want to go nowhere else, mm -hmm. not because you're just comfortable, mm -hmm. not because it just feel good, mm -hmm. but come and say, I'm going to come and I'm going to give it my all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to clap my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open my mouth. Yeah. I'm going to give God praise yeah. in spite of everything else. Yeah. And I declare that that is the only thing that's going to keep the body alive. That's right. Amen. But when you give up and your part is not working like it should, it affects the rest of the body. Amen. 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 Now, now, this is important too. Not only, and somebody going to like this, sometimes what we do, I'm really done, Dick. Sometimes what we do, is we overwork. Don't miss this. One person can't do it all. Amen. Amen. And too often what we do is when we see a part that's lacking, we try to become super Christian. Mm -hmm. Super member. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Then you get mad because you feel like you're doing everything. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody else. Come here, Mary and Martha. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus... I've been here the whole time working and she's sitting over here at your feet. He leads us besides still waters. He restores our soul. Rest is necessary. Sometimes you can do too much of something and too much is just as bad as not enough. Amen. Amen. Stop asking God to give you work-life balance. You don't need no balance. That ain't what you need. Stop saying that. Mm -hmm. You know what balance is? Equal. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give life as much as I give work. Mm -hmm. 
better yet. I want to give work as much as I give life. I don't need no work like that. So don't be praying that for me. I pray the Lord give my pastor work. Don't pray that for me. You praying against what I'm praying. Pray that God gives harmony so that things work the way they should. There are some seasons where I do need to work a little bit more. And there's some seasons I need to vacation. Why you don't want a restaurant? I, don't, I ain't there no more. It's where I'm at right now. I'm half for a hundred. <laughs> Work life harmony. Harmony. And when we are in harmonious condition and everything is doing what it's supposed to do, then the body functions how it's supposed to function. Amen? Amen. Y'all hear me tonight? Yeah. Stay connected to the right thing. Stay connected to the right thing. Amen. Stay connected to the right thing. Stay connected to the right thing. And then I've learned there are some things that try to disconnect from me. Some things I need to stay connected to even when it disconnects. And it may not be a connection right up on, but it might be a connection far home. Amen. Anybody ever been trailing somebody? Mm -hmm. I drive fast. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> sometimes people are behind me. You know, trailer is supposed to be following me. And then sometimes I just I, I forget they're behind me. Mm -hmm. But I also, as fast as I drive, my brother, boy, that boy, that boy got a problem. <laughs> okay. Watch this. And we got the same exact car and club. But I've learned this. If I'm following him, I don't have to be right up on him. I just need my eye on him. Don't miss this. And sometimes, you won't be connected like this. Sometimes you'll be connected like this. Amen. Just keep your eye on it. Yeah. Yeah. Come at Elijah and Bishop. Yeah. If you see me when I go up, yes. Uh -huh. yes. then guess what? You can have a double portion. All right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you need to do, just keep your eye on it. Because yeah. if I keep my eye on it, if you turn left, I know to turn left. Yeah. You go right, I don't have a problem with my mom's. <laughs> I can be right up on her. <laughs> Stay, <laughs> stay connected. Anybody? Questions? Comments? Comments? Questions? Anybody? 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 Come on. Connections. Come on. Somebody got something to say. I just would like to say, I have to praise God for this word tonight. Um, and praise you for delivering it. Amen. God be um, About two years ago, I had a doctor say that he could reconstruct my foot. And after about three surgeries, he gave up on me, saying that he couldn't do anything for me. Mm. So early this year, January, I met a doctor who said that he could try to do it. So in March, he planned to do it, and we made plans to do it. And... Um, came up with a plan and in two days we're gonna reconstruct my foot. Amen. So I've waited patiently and waited for God to answer my prayers. So Friday will be my final foot surgery. Amen. Amen.
everything that's good is not God. Amen. Amen. Say again. Everything that's good is not God. Amen. I was telling Dickens tonight, I've been working on me. And um, one of the things I try to do is I gave up certain foods. I start eating more salad. Well, the problem is, I did not realize. Oh, I see it. You ain't got to, you ain't got to tell me. I see my listen. Slim it down. <laughs> Feel good right now. I didn't even realize that lettuce had so much sugar. Mm -hmm. But my problem was, I was eating salad. But just because I was eating salad, I wasn't eating good salad. Yeah, I have a lettuce. Sometimes I have a triple wash spinach from Publix. But then I put all this cheese, <laughs> turkey, yeah. Put all this stuff on it. But here go, to, here go to the worst part. All this balsamic Italian dressing. Yeah. And I was drenching it. I wanted to sell it. I wanted dressing at the bottom. I wanted my, my lettuce sitting in lettuce. Mm -hmm. I wanted it on top, in the middle. Then I messed around and shake it up. Just because it's good, right? Don't mean it's good for you. And when we find people that we're connected to, y'all, in this season right now, some of us just need to be by ourselves. Amen. Amen. It's not a bad thing. I praise God for COVID-19. I told y'all this before. I praise God for some of the isolation that it brought in my life. Because I found out that there were some things I was, yeah. some things I was connected to. And they weren't good connections. They weren't bad people. They weren't bad things. They just weren't getting me to where I needed to be. Amen. And when I get to where I need to get, then guess what? We might be able to be connected again. Because then I'll be stronger. Amen. And I'll be strong enough to help you. And that don't mean when I'm disconnected from you that you got to stay from around me. Keep your eye on me. I love you. And because I love you, I want what's best for you. And that might mean I need to get from around you so you don't see me doing wrong. Amen. That's it. That's it. This season is personal. I told my mama the other day. Dick and Harry, you want to say something? I told my mama yes, yesterday. Day before yesterday. Yesterday, I said, let me tell y'all something. I'm at a season in my life right now, it got to make, it got to work for me. Yeah. If it don't work for me, I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. It don't work for me. That don't work for me. <laughs> no, no. I know it might work for you, but that don't work for me. And because it don't work for me, and I got to be a willing participant in it, no, miss me with that. Thank you. I have had, I'm done. In, in two days, I've had three separate job offers. And I ain't took none of them. And I was here today. We were praying. I was sitting. I said, Lord, what is wrong with me? <laughs> like this person called me and said, you got a job. Mm -hmm. The one that I applied for. Called me. And I told him, no. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with that bitch? Why? Why you got dressed and went to the interview? Why I applied? It don't work for me. Mm -hmm. And there were some things that I thought worked. There were some things that I thought worked for me. And it worked then, yeah. but it don't work now. Yeah. Yeah. It used to work. Yeah. It worked for me right now. I'm sorry. Because I'm in a different place. Mm -hmm. And where I'm at right now, it's got to make sense. Mm -hmm. Not just dollars. Mm -hmm. It'll make sense. Yes. If it don't make sense to me, it ain't funny. Mm -hmm. It can hurt. Amen. I'm done.
Right. Well, if you don't know anything except the thing that is going on in the world around you, how could you renew your mind okay. to the word of God, to the very thing? I said, Jesus, which was his speech for us. We said we are God's people, but he said to people, you silly, you silly. You got a lot of knowledge, but your knowledge is to do wrong. That's a do wrong. Not to do, but you educated fools. You are not going to do that, those things which I require of you. Yet, I'll go over in your life and see. You, you ought to be ashamed of what he's doing. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing the work. Yeah. See, we don't want to, you, see, we want to modify our other men. But we want ours to run wild. They're squatting in your life. You know, they got mail coming down. So now you got evicted. Yeah. But think about your life and realize that there are some seasons where it's important that you clean some things out. People are not trash. 
And so when you are limiting things from your life, it needs to be done with tactfulness. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you say. Yeah. Amen. Right? Because that same person you're trying to eliminate from, remember that person was there for you. Amen. 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 So be careful. Mm -hmm. But pray that God will put you in a place so that you have the right thing to say. Because someone is watching you. Amen. They're watching how you're going to get through this. Amen. And you might be the inspiration that someone else needs mm -hmm. to make the changes in their own life. Amen. So it's important. And then, if you're going to disconnect, make sure you connect to the right thing. Amen. And one of the ways we can be correct, connect to the right thing is we stay in God's word. We're not, we not conformed to this world. A lot of stuff that's fun that we just don't need to do. Mm -hmm. Places that's exciting, we just don't need to go. Mm -hmm. And some, some of the things I've learned, is, it's, it's not that you don't go no more, mm -hmm. but there's some seasons where you just don't need to be going right now. Yeah. Some things you just need to stay away from right now. Mm -hmm. And so, it might be a season for your marriage. Mm -hmm. It might be a season for your children. It might be a season for your health. It might be a season for promotion in your life. Some of the seasons we go through really hurt. But it's still necessary. Because God can get the glory even out of broken seasons. Yes. Amen. 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 So when things happen and start shifting, realize that some shifts ought to put you in your right place. And many of us have been out of place for a long time. We've been out of place connected to things that's not helpful to us. And if a person is not helping you, they're hurting you. Because if they're not helping you, they're hurting you from getting to something and someone who will help you. Amen. 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 God has a proper connection for every one of us in here. Thank you. He knows you and he loves you. He's so concerned about you. He don't want you settling. He don't want you accepting things that you don't have to accept. He don't want you in a situation you don't have to be in. But God wants more from you and more for you, for you so you can give more. Time you're here and you're under the sound of my weak voice. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, I want to extend this invitation to you. Maybe you're online tonight. Maybe this word is penetrating your heart. And if you don't know Jesus, I want to extend this invitation to you. You can make Jesus the Lord of your life. Thank God that the conditions are clear. That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're saved. Salvation brings security. Yeah. And then you can be born again. The Bible declares that if you will sanctify yourself, the very God of peace will sanctify you holy. You will repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. You will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And then you're sealed. And then you'll have what you need. Maybe you're saved. Maybe you need to be recommitted to the Lord. That's you. Come on. And I know the hour is drawing late, but I, I have no need to pray. If you need prayer, come on. Just come on real quickly. Come on real quickly. We're going to trust God. Even in our prayer. And we believe God. Because we trust in God. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous can run therein and they can be saved. Hallelujah for proper connections. God, I thank you tonight for these who have come from when they're safe places to come, oh God, to the altar. To come, God, with cares and concerns, and come, God, some with tears in their eyes and some, God, with painful things they're leaving. And God, they're trusting you that even in this season, this uncomfortable season, this unlikely season, this, this season, oh God, of uncertainties, that they trust that you're still certain, that your power is still able to do exceeding abundantly above what we can ask or think. You love us, oh God, beyond our mistakes. You love us, oh God, 
beyond our downfalls. You love us, oh God, beyond our inconsistencies. You love us, oh God, even when we messed up. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, oh God, for looking beyond our faults and for seeing our needs. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that every person under the sound of my voice will move into proper connection, proper alignment, that God will be where we need to be, that God we will be aligned, straight, that our focus will be on you, that we'll lift up our eyes to the hills from what's come with our help. For God, we know that all of our help comes from you. Some come tonight because they're sick. We know that you are healer. Some comes, God, because surgery is impending. We know you're a surgeon. Some comes, God, with burdens, and we know you're a burden bearer. Some comes tonight, God, in proxy for someone else. We know that you're able to stand in the gap. We know that there is no failure in you. Bless the bereaved tonight. Strengthen us, oh God. Help us to continue to know that you are God and beside you there is no other. And God, we will be careful and mindful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor in the strong, mighty, and capable name of Jesus. And for Christ's sake, we pray and ask it all. And we believe it to be so. And all those that agree and believe, say amen, 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 amen. 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 Declare and say, I believe, I believe, I believe, and I will receive everything that I believe. God bless you. Listen, Sunday is coming. Sunday is coming. Sunday is our first Sunday. Uh, I want you to um, remember our service on Sunday. We will uh, come and we're going to uh, bless them. I want you to service on Sunday. I want you to keep, again, um, Sister Gay in prayer on Friday as she goes to serve. We know that God is able. And we know that God can. I want you to keep Sister Mary forward in your prayers. Um, this is second hand information now. Um, and this is what I've been told. I understand that Sister Mary Ford um, got called the other day and her mother was uh, on the ground unconscious. And so keep Sister Mary Ford in your prayers. Sister Brother Walden, uh, Sister Mary Ford's mother is in uh, Atmo, Alabama. So keep them in prayer there. There, Keep Sister um, Walden lifted in prayers. Keep Sister Flowers family. The funeral service for her aunt is this Saturday, um, 11 o'clock at um, the All Nations Church of God by Faith in St. Petersburg. Keep their family lifted in prayer. Um, keep the Grimsley family lifted in prayer. That service is Saturday for her niece. Saturday at 11 o'clock as well. Keep them in prayer. That's at Bayview. The young family. Keep the young family in prayer. Understand um, Mr. Young's sister um, expired. So keep them in prayer uh, as well as they go through their hour of bereavement. Keep all of our church. Keep the Marshall family um, lifted in prayer. Um, that God will bless them and keep them as well. Amen? Amen. And keep the absent part of our church in prayer. This week, let's pray for proper connections. Can we do that? Amen. Amen. Connect me to what I need to be connected to. Amen. And then know that when I'm connected to what I'm supposed to be connected to, then I'll be strengthened. Amen? Amen. Look at somebody say, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He call His Spirit to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May He lift up His smile upon you and give you peace. July 19th. Y'all please help me pass this word. Wednesday, July 19th. We need every member of St. Matthew. Every member of St. Matthew we need here. Wednesday, July 19th. As we begin some strategic uh, plans. So be here Wednesday. There will be no Bible study that night. We need everybody here. Wednesday, July 19th. We're going to start at night at 6. Wednesday, July 19th, 6 p.m. Pass the word. We need everybody here. Wednesday, July 19th. There will be no live that night. Wednesday, July 19th, 6 o'clock. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Have a good night.